Hello everyone, this is Andrew Perkins for Tuts Plus, and today we'll learn about the Twig templating engine found inside the Symphony 2 framework. Let's switch into our text editor. Here I am in Sublime, and I'm starting off with the same code that we ended with last time from our controllers video. If you remember, we generated a controller, action route, and a template. So far we've learned about all of these topics except for templates. So let's take a look at the template file that was generated for us in the last video for our main controller's index action. We can find our templates under Source, Acme, Demo Bundle, Resources, Views, and each of our controller class files will have a folder in here using its name to house that controller's template view files. As you can see, we have a demo, main, secured, and welcome view folders for those respective controllers. We can find our main controller's index action under the main folder and open up index.html.twig. So let's start with the file name. You can see that Twig uses the .html.twig extension, and you name your view file using the controller or action name. In this case, if we open up under controller, Let's open up our main controller.php file. You can see that we have an index action. So that means we will also have an index.html.twig template file. You could have this render any twig template file that you wanted, or you could name your twig template whatever you'd like as well. This is just a naming convention for you to follow to keep your app organized. So let's go back to our index twig template file. Now, if you've never worked with a templating engine before, it might be a little confusing at first. So let's just start right at the beginning with this funny little syntax that you'll see in nearly every Twig template. I like to call these Twig tags. The first one starts with an opening curly bracket and then a percent sign right after it. And then it ends with a percent sign and a closing curly bracket. Now, this statement is used for executing code. You can use these for if statements, loops, and other control structures, and so on. Here it's being used to extend another Twig template. This file is named base.html.twig, and this was created for you by Symfony, and it's being used as a layout file to give this individual template file, or any other file that may extend it, some HTML structure. This includes HTML, head, title, and body tags. By doing this, you don't have to duplicate that same markup across all of your template files. So we can locate this base layout file under app, resources, views, and open up base.html.twig. This again is just some standard HTML markup that your individual template files can share. In this template, we can see our twig tags being used again to define several block sections within this template file. We have a block named title, and in between these twig tags, we have our default title of welcome. Now, the cool thing about blocks is that in any template that extends the parent template, the child can overwrite these blocks content, giving each individual template file unique content. So whenever we create a new template file, if we want to use this base template as a layout, we can simply extend it, just like in our index.html.twig file, and then we can overwrite these blocks. We could overwrite the title, and we can target this body block down here, which is where your main view or template code will go that you want to be visible in the browser. If we go back to index.html.twig, this template file uses this first of two twig tags several times to execute code in order to properly place the content of this page into that base layout file. If you've used other templating engines, this should be a common procedure and something that you're already used to. And besides, it makes managing your template files much easier when everything isn't lumped together into one file. And you can see that that's exactly what's going on here. We overwrite the title block and give it a new title. Then for our main template view code, we overwrite the body block, simply giving this page an H1 heading. So now that we have a better understanding of Twig templates, let's now try out the Twig tag ourselves along with a simple if statement to check a value and print out a result to the screen for some practice. This will also introduce us to the second type of Twig tag, which we'll see in just a moment. First, let's create a new variable in our index action so that we can use it in our if statement here in the template. So let's switch into our main controller and inside of our index action, 
let's create a new array. So here you can see I've inserted this user array. The user has a name property with a value of Tom and an active property with a value of true. Now we just need to bind this user array to our template. Inside our render method call, we can do that by passing in an array as a second argument. There we go. You can see I've passed in that array as a second argument to the render method. We can now use this user array in our template file. It'll be accessible as a user variable, which is the key name of our array. All right, let's switch back to our template file. And inside of our body block, right after our h1 heading, let's open up some twig tags to execute some code. And now inside of our twig tags, let's use our user array to check if this user is currently active using an if statement. There we go. So if the user is active, let's now print out a paragraph and say hello to the user using their name from that user array. So you can see how I've just used some HTML right here within our twig if statement. And inside of this HTML, I'm now using the second type of twig tag, which uses both the opening and closing double curly brackets. This statement is used to echo out a value. Here I'm just echoing out the user's name. Now, lastly, we just need to end our if statement. So right after our paragraph, let's end the if. And that's it. So if you want to evaluate or execute code, you can use the curly bracket percent syntax. And if you want to echo or print something out, you use the double curly bracket syntax. All right, let's now test this out in the browser. Make sure to start up your server. Here I am in Firefox, so we can visit localhost port 8000 slash index to view our page. And as we can see, we get the message of hello Tom. Since our user's active property was set to true, our if statement would evaluate to true and run the appropriate code. So to wrap up, with Twig, you can seamlessly and painlessly integrate your PHP, HTML, and others together, giving you a very clean looking presentation of your view code without all of the clutter of PHP tags and overabundance of parentheses and semicolons. Instead, we get a nice, simple, and elegant syntax. There's so much more that you can do with Twig. I've given you just a quick intro. You should definitely take a look at the documentation for more information. You won't be disappointed. And thank you for watching.